hello students so in this video i will be discussing about human eye human eye is there in class 8 as well as in class 10 so human eye is a spherical structure having an approximate diameter of 2.5 centimeter so uh, the it's a hollow spherical uh, structure where there are the walls of the human eye has three layers the outermost layer it is a whitish layer which is called the sclera so this sclera we can see in front of our eyes suppose if this is our eye so this is the colored portion of our eye this is the white portion so this white portion that we can see this is the sclera now just above this color portion as you can see here just above the colored portion of our eye this white color layer sclera becomes transparent and this portion of the eye it is called the cornea so you have heard about that eyes are being donated by a dead person so donation of eye means the whole eye is not gogged out it is only the cornea the transparent layer which is surgically removed it can be easily donated because cornea does not have any blood vessels and therefore there is no uh, point of matching of blood or uh, any disease can come to it yes of course if the person dies from uh, disease like hiv aids and uh, rabies or tetanus then the cornea cannot be donated otherwise uh, if a person dies of any other causes then the cornea can be easily donated um, because it is not having any blood vessels and it can be donated from any person to any other person okay so after sclera the second layer of the eye that we have this is a much more muscular layer it is called the choroid so this choroid in front it forms the muscular partition and this muscular partition gives the characteristic color to your eye and this is known as the iris so this is the iris portion of the eye so when we say black color eyes or mauve color eyes or green color or blue color eyes it is the color of this iris layer now this iris has a opening in the center because no matter what is the color of your eye the central portion is always black it is black because it is an opening and actually you are seeing the interior of the eye so this particular hole it is called the pupil through which light will enter into the eye now just behind the iris muscles we have the muscular uh, uh, extensions which are called the ciliary muscles these ciliary muscles will hold the lens in its position so we have a very flexible biconvex uh, bi lens so there's the lens of the eye so this lens is held in its position with the help of the ciliary muscles these ciliary muscles also helps to make the lens either thin or thick depending on what kind of object we are trying to focus the third and the innermost layer of the eye it is called the retina this retina is richly supplied with the light sensitive nerve endings okay light sensitive nerves and these light sensitive nerves or neurons rather light sensitive neurons they will come they will join and will exit the eyeball in the form of the optic nerve optic nerve will carry the instruction to the brain for further processing so retina contains two types of neurons or nerve cells uh, the cones and the rods the cones are sensitive to color the cones are sensitive to color and your uh, bright light whereas the rods and the rods are sensitive to your dim light so these are the two types of neurons that are present in the eye now 
this uh, lens it is dividing the eye into two chambers the interior broader chamber it is having a transparent gel like substance and this transparent gel like substance is called vitreous humor humor means fluid so it is a gel like fluid which is called vitreous humor this fluid cannot be replaced so if there is any uh, injury to the eye and there is leakage of vitreous humor it can lead to permanent blindness and in the front smaller chamber we have a much watery fluid and that watery fluid it is called the aqueous humor so this aqueous humor is actually uh, replaceable so it continuously gets drained and it keeps on forming so this is the overall structure of the human eye now you see from physics point of view when the rays will pass through the lens and will get focused on the retina so it is getting the images being formed on the screen so we are actually forming a real image because the image is being focused on the screen and real image we know is your inverted image but we can see the image in a uh, proper position not in an upside down position not inverted erect image we can see so why it is so because this inverted image will be processed again in an inverted way in our brain so uh, inverted processing of an inverted image will give you an erect image now there's a point which lies exactly to the central part of the lens and this portion has maximum concentration of the uh, cone cells and it is the spot of brightest vision so this is called the yellow spot and this portion where the optic nerve leaves the eyeball there are no light sensitive cells so anything getting focused here actually cannot be seen so this is called the blind spot so overall these are the structure of a typical human eye thank you